Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads to Skyreach, the dungeon in the Spires of Iraq, where we are going to be getting out of bounds, and I'm going to be showing you how. Now, before we begin, you may notice something a little different. I currently have my webcam on. I got a 4K webcam which now I'm gonna be using in my videos, and you're gonna be seeing all my personal and emotional reactions to everything I do. <laughs> so I thought it'd be fun to get a little more personal with you guys, and you can see how I film these videos. Now, um, also, before we begin this glitch in Out of Bounds, I just wanna say a special thank you to True Hero. He's the one that found this glitch. I don't know how the heck he found this, so True Hero, you're the man. Thank you for graciously sharing the glitch with me and allowing me to make a video on it. So full credit to him, full credit to exploring this glitch, and full credit to Hero. So thank you, Hero, you're awesome. Also, if you are will going to do this glitch, there's a few things you're gonna wanna do. Is first, you're gonna wanna always be playing a Demon Hunter, right? That's the best OOB class in the game. The reason being is because you're gonna need a Vengeful Retreat, you're also gonna need Fell Rush. Glide, not so much this time. You can use Glide, but it might mess you up. I'm going to explain that a little later. This glitch is probably one of the hardest glitches to do that I've ever seen. Uh, it's just, it's not easy to perform, and I might mess it up. I don't know. We'll see. I did practice it a couple times last night with Hero, so I'm very excited to try to pull it off and show you. There are really cool things outside of this dungeon that I want to show you. There's three main things specifically, and we'll get to those in a little bit. Hopefully we can perform this glitch and everything goes correctly. Now, like I said, you're going to want to be a demon hunter. You're going to want to be in the Havoc talent class tree for the Fell Rush and the Vengeful Retreat. Now, another thing you're going to need is also the Potion of Slow Fall. You really need these. These are like the key to everything. Now, where I'm currently at is actually the last boss. I'm going to turn down the audio just a little bit. Oh, it's pretty low. <laughs> Can we turn this down? There we go. I think we could turn this down a little bit. So where I'm at is actually the last boss room in Skyreach. Uh, we are at High Sage Vir Virix, I think they say his name. And uh, we're not going to be killing him. The reason being is because, well, he, you need to get up here on this, um, what do you call it? This side thing sticking out. Now, the reason you don't want to kill the last boss is because the guy that you help infiltrate the whole sky reach uh rahan or whatever his name is he actually blocks the way over here and for you to go down so it just makes it harder for you to jump up here i wouldn't recommend it now in order to do this glitch we're going to do a few things so what you're going to want to do is head up here now once you get up here be careful as you can fall off now this is one of the tricky part once you get up here you're going to want to jump out here you're going to want to foul rush and fell rush again, and I almost didn't make it. Ooh, that was close. Glad I saved it. You're gonna wanna get on this ledge over here. Now, this is probably one of the tricky parts in the glitch, but this isn't the most tricky part. You're just gonna wanna fly over here, and boom, we are officially almost out of sky reach. Now, this is the hardest part to do in the whole glitch here, and I'm gonna show you why. Where we need to go, is way far in the distance and i mean really far so we need to make our way over here now in order to get over there we need a few key things right like i said earlier in the video we need the potion of slow fall we need the fell rush we need vengeful retreat we're not going to be using glide the glide just ruins your momentum now the reason we need slow fall potion is because when we are jumping off here and heading towards there we're going to pop a slow fall potion we're going to vengeful retreat right away towards there and then we're going to fell rush and then we're going to fell rush again and we're going to keep that momentum going now if you decide to go anywhere else around this area you're going to die the reason being is there is death walls everywhere outside of this dungeon mainly in the middle of the map here so if you stay around the dungeon area this is going to be all death but on the outskirts, way over here and way over here and way over there, you're fine. You're, you're going to be okay. And that's where the most important things are going to be. So let's try to attempt this glitch. Hopefully we get it on the first time. If we don't, I'm going to be editing this video <laughs> until we get it. So 
what we're going to want to do is follow my lead here. You're going to want to aim towards this area over here. You can aim towards this way, but it's a lot harder. So we're going to lead off with this. We're going to drink our fell, uh, slow fall potion. We're going to vengeful retreat. And then um, what just happened? Okay. We lost our slow fall potion. Um, I don't know why. But okay. Oh <laughs> well, I will be back. I guess when I actually That's interesting. When I lose my HUD, the fall slow fall potion actually Um breaks. Breaks. <laughs> so alright, well that's a good thing to know. So now you guys know. Don't disappear your HUD like this. And you're going to lose your slow fall potion. So I will be back and uh, I'll be back when we have our slow fall potion off cooldown. Because it, unfortunately it's a five minute cooldown. So we'll be right back. All right. We are officially back in World of Warcraft. And we are officially back at round two of attempting to break out of the Skyreach dungeon. We are back up here after we just died. So let's attempt this again. Now, what we're going to do this time is we're actually going to. All right, we're not going to hide our HUD because I think that's what broke us last time. So we're going to aim towards this way and uh, we're going to double jump. We're going to this. We're going to vengeful retreat, bell rush, bell rush, and we're going to keep the momentum going. Now, we're going to aim towards this way over here. So let's keep that going. We're gonna fell rush again. Remember, we're not gonna glide. If we glide, we die. So we wanna keep the momentum going and I think we're good. It looks like we're doing okay. We're gonna fell rush again just for safety. And it looks like we made it. So that's exciting. I'm very excited. I'm excited to show you guys this out of bounds area. So right here, we can now use our glide. So there we go. Cool, we have officially made it out of the Skyreach dungeon which is awesome so let's go take a look around now like i said we're gonna want to avoid the middle area as much as possible just because that's all death now we can officially hide our hud as well so let's go take a look over here and let's go find out what's going on up the path here now unfortunately i have done this out of bounds already once but i'm excited to show you guys exactly what's out here there is some trippy stuff out here some things that you don't expect and uh i just i'm excited to show you but we're gonna start off with this encampment over here now i don't know the exact name of this encampment unfortunately my demon hunter wasn't my main which was my hunter <laughs> so we boosted this demon hunter to play it and uh i haven't discovered every single place yet around the azeroth area which i have on my main so I don't know exactly what this base encampment's called, but it's really cool to see everything empty. Now, Warlord to Drainer wasn't as bad of an expansion as people made it out to be. I think it could have been the best expansion Blizzard ever made, but they cut a lot of stuff out of it, honestly, which was really sad. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head out this way to this path over here. Now, we do need to be careful because when we're on foot here, which sadly we can't mount up, we have to walk through this dungeon, is there's going to be some paths that we can actually head up, and one of them's going to be right over here, I believe. We're going to make our way out this way. Now, we do need to be careful because there is a death wall slowly out that way, so we're going to make our way to the edder outer edge of the world, and uh, we're going to head up this way. So let's keep going. All right, we're going to make our way up this mountain, and we're going to fell rush and fell rush again. And we're going to avoid the right side over there. And we're going to keep walking left here. Now, the reason we're going to walk left here is because I want to show you guys the first thing on my list here uh, to show off, which thank you again, hero. You're awesome for showing me this glitch. Uh, there is a lot of cool stuff out here. So before we go down here to this cool looking area, which actually there's a working elevator out here, by the way, if you didn't know. We're going to go over here and I'm going to give you a cool view of the whole map real quick. As you can see, we're pretty f high up. And they do keep a lot of this area out here when it comes to Draenor. Um, but you can see a cool little glimpse here 
of the whole dungeon. So let's go take a look down here. We're going to go fly. Now, a lot of these buildings are rendered. Now, what's really interesting, too, is the we have found basically the edge of the world out here with the gray textured area. Or I should say untextured. Huh? ATM fans. <laughs> I need to make a t-shirt still that says untextured. That would be really cool. How many people would buy that t-shirt? I want to know. If I put, make an ATN t-shirt that says untextured, I know here it would. He already told me he wanted one. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to keep going, and I'm going to show you inside these buildings real quick. Now, they are fully rendered, and the music does change when you come in here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, not too much. But you can go up in here in these hallways. And you can go in the back here as well. And a cool view of the water. Now, by the way, rule of thumb, if you guys are ever in OOBs, avoid water at all cost. Please, just, just listen to me. <laughs> all right. Uh, don't go into the water. Don't go swimming because you will disconnect. Now, not always, but most of the time, if you go out in the waters and you're doing OOB adventures, make sure to avoid water like the plague the reason being is because it will disconnect you because the game doesn't know where you're at for some reason the game just freaks out it can't do the animation of swimming and it dc's you sometimes you get lucky and you can actually go back in now the really cool thing about this area that i wanted to show you oh well, let's go down here real quick as you can tell all these buildings are rendered a lot of stuff is down here. We're going to head back up. Now, I want to go show you the really cool thing that makes this dungeon very exciting. Now, there is a very random box sitting out here. And we're going to run into it here in just a minute. There's a cube sitting over here, and I'm going to zoom in for a second. Ah, this beautiful, beautiful sky. I wonder what's going on in this map. What the heck? Yes, there is a delete me pink textured cube that the developers of Blizzard left out here when they were creating this map outside. Now, why this is here, I have no idea. Maybe it's just to mess with people. Maybe it's just to have people discover this. Ah, oh, man, I, I don't know. I have no idea why this is out here. But this is really cool to see and you can actually walk inside the box so there's nothing inside of it but what's so funny is the developers left this out here and i don't think they realize it's out here i'm sure well i'm sure maybe they do but they just left it for fun for people to explore out of bounds because they probably thought nobody's ever gonna fly this far out well you're wrong blizzard hero got out like always <laughs> so yeah this is really cool and there's actually another one right over here as well so if you come out this way, back up into the little garden area, I think we actually passed it up on our way in. There is a textured cube right here that also says delete me. So there you go. Take a screenshot of that. I already took a screenshot of the big one. As you guys can probably saw in the thumbnail. And so that's really cool. That's the first thing on my list here that I wanted to show you guys. So if you ever get a chance to come out this way, check out the delete me cubes. They're really cool and very uh, strange, nevertheless. So let's start heading to the second thing that I want to show you. And I'm going to do some walking here. And uh, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the OOB out of area for a minute. So I'm going to shut up my mic. Now, as you can tell, there is a lot of cool things they do keep out here. We have found the edge of the world again. We're going to make our way up this way. And if you make your way up this way, up the mountains here, you can find a giant spider's nest that's laying out in the middle of nowhere here. 
which is really cool to see. So we're going to go check that out. Check out this. You got a fully rendered spider's nest out here. But that's not what's really, really cool to see. Which, this is a cool area. But what I want to show you is out this way. It's going to be over the spider's nest. Excuse me. We're going to have to make our way out this way and keep going up the mountains here. Now, as we're going up these mountains, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody. We are officially over 4,100 subscribers. That is amazing to me. You guys are just the best in the world and just so, so amazing with your love and support of the channel. I couldn't be more happy and uh, I just love how much uh, we've also reached over 100 members in the ATN Discord. So if you haven't joined the ATN Discord, I highly recommend that you do. We're building a OOB community in there for all things World of Warcraft. And we just have fun in there as well. We post memes, we post music. I get to meet new people almost every day. It is a really cool place. So come join the ATN Discord. Everybody's welcoming, everybody's friendly. We have a good time, we laugh, we make jokes. And uh, yeah, it's 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 been a really good time in there. So, but let's get back to the video. But also I'll put a link in the uh, Discord link I'll put a Discord link uh, in the comment section. So now that we are at the rune section outside of the dungeon over here. Now the rune section is where I want to show you the second really cool thing. So we're going to make our way out this way. All right. And what we're going to want to do is head out this way. Now, there is something very strange and something, I don't know, familiar or very eerie that you might see out here that's different so let's go check it out i'm not gonna ruin the surprise let's go see it what is that in the distance you see <laughs> all right yes there is a modeled gnome npc out here it's a no model i'm assuming it's a test model kind of like the one we found outside of deep palm if you guys remember that video but this dude is creepy looking am i right we're gonna take another screenshot to be safe here <laughs> but look at that dude's eyes so when was the last time you ever saw a no model like a test model isn't that random I don't know why Blizzard left us out here or what they were experimenting with, but uh, yeah, this is really weird. And come check this out for yourself if you don't believe me. It's just a very weird model. So that is the second thing on my list that I want to show you. But we're all set at the edge of the world again. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to our gnome friend, which is creepy here. And we're going to keep on walking. Goodbye, gnome friend. Now, why they kept that out there, I have no idea. I'm assuming Blizzard had done as a testing operation out here. Now, the waterfall is still intact, so we're going to fly right over it, which is beautiful. And we're going to keep our way out this way. Now, the third thing on my list here that I want to show you is there actually is a scarecrow over here in the distance. Let's go take a look. Now, I believe this is in retail, but maybe someone can correct me if this is in retail or not. I'm assuming this is part of a quest line in Draenor, but this thing is cool looking. It is fully rendered and modeled. Yeah, there's just some weird stuff outside of this dungeon, but I think this is in retail, so I don't think this is just only out in OB. Maybe, maybe not. Someone please correct me. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> But we're going to keep on going, and we're going to say goodbye to our Scarecrow friend. And we're going to take a cool flight past this waterfall. Now, there is some more stuff and cool stuff to see. There is a lot to see outside this dungeon. I highly recommend all of you to come out here and check everything out, as uh, it's a lot of fun. It is not easy to perform the glitch, as you could see. Um...
But props to True Hero as he is always finding cool glitches outside the map just like this. And I just want to say thank you to him again for sharing this with me. This is one of the coolest OOBs, I think. Seeing a lot of interesting stuff out here. Alright, we're going to keep making our way out this way. And there is some cool things on the other side of the map that we need to get to. So we're going to go walk through the forest and see what we can find out here. I hope all of you have been enjoying these OOB videos as much as I have been making them. Uh, it's been such a big blessing, like I said earlier, growing the channel. Um, over 4,100 subscribers. We're almost to 5,000. 900 away. I mean, that just blows my mind. Uh, you guys are so supportive. And so many people have been commenting. And it's just been awesome. You know, I found some new friends doing OOB. And I'm just, I'm really grateful. So thank you guys for making OOB a lot of fun. And it's just cool to have other people to build a community with around doing out of bounds stuff in World of Warcraft. So I could not be more happy and more thrilled. And I'm just excited for the future of all things nerd and ATN. And to see where the channel is going to grow. So now as we make our way out this way, you can see this really cool pool effect of water out here. It's kind of a trippy little thing going. It's like a whirlpool. Can we? I think we can stand in it. Now, I did say avoid water earlier in the game, but this is shallow enough to where it's not going to do anything to you. And your guy won't swim, so we should be good. But we're going to take another screenshot. This is kind of cool to look at. And we're going to keep on moving on. Keep on moving on. Alright. We're going to keep going. We're going to go make our way. Now, we are going to stick to the left path here. As going to the right path is going to lead us to death. So we definitely want to make sure that we're staying away from the death walls. And we're going to keep making our way out this way. Now, there is a cool campfire out this way. And we're going to go check it out. Now, this map, this out of this bounds map is huge. And you guys think this is an out, oh, big OOB map. You guys should see some other ones that I've been out of. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. And I know I keep talking about this video, but I need to go do it. Um, the Court of Stars in Legion, there's a really cool thing out there that you can go explore. Also, the Siege of Boralus, that's another one I highly recommend you get out of and go explore. There is a lot to explore in that dungeon. I'm not going to say why, but there is. There's a lot to do, so go check those out. Uh, you'll see why, and I'm definitely going to be making videos on those in the future. I haven't done it yet, but uh, yeah. So as you can see here, there's a cool campfire and a uh, broken down tent over here that's just kind of hanging out here. But we're going to keep making our way out this way and we're going to go take a look. Now this is probably one of the longest OOB videos I have done so far. We're almost 20 minutes already, which is pretty cool. Um, if you're hanging around this far, thank you. We got some more stuff to look at coming up. Now this is a cool little campfire area. As you have a campfire burning. And a bunch of leftover props from the OOB out of bounds here. Looks like we got some carrots, some meat. Pickles, I'm assuming those are? Or corn? No, maybe like corn. I think those are just badly shaped mottled corn. And then we got some ribs going on, so it looks like a good little campfire going. But we're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on trucking. All right, so we're going to make our way out this way. Now, we are getting to a full circle here of the dungeon, which is really awesome. Because this is exactly where I wanted to get to. You need to scratch my mustache. All right, we're going to make our way over them mountains, like Uncle Rico would say. And we're actually going to head up here. Now, coming up to a really cool part. <laughs> Something really interesting. 
is I haven't been out in Draenor a long time, so maybe someone can correct us, but there is a fully rendered garrison out here, which we're going to be getting to here in just a minute. Now, there is some caves out here that you can walk in, just like that one there. Nothing in there. But there is caves out here that are rendered. We're going to keep making our way out this way, and we're going to keep on going. Now, this is kind of a cool area out here. It reminds me a lot of, like, the Flintstones. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, but you got the cave that's sticking out of the ground over there and you can walk in there It will change your music and everything and then you got some cool-looking torches over here. I Will say the fire effects in Draenor actually is really good. So Blizzard did a great job with fire Gotta scratch my mustache again I'm gonna make a super fan mustache scratcher sticker you can post in my channel. Alright, we're going to keep going out this way. And like I said, this OOB is really big. And there is a lot to see. Now, there's a really cool shield over here. Oh, nope, not a shield. Alright, I thought it was a shield. It's just a wheel. <laughs> broken, looks like a broken down wagon. Here we go, we're getting to the cool part here. Now, there is a fully rendered Alliance garrison type base out here in the distance, and we're going to go check it out. Got to keep walking forward. But there is homes out here as well. And you can sit in the chairs, which is interesting. So everything is fully modeled, and the music did change as well. What we're going to do is we're actually going to head out this way. Because we want to get over this mountain so that we can go get to the garrison. And we're going to keep going. Make our way up the mountains, like Uncle Rico would say. All right, I think we're doing good. Hang with me a little longer, guys. We're almost to an end here of the video. All right, as you can see, there is a mine out here that's fully rendered. And here we go. We have officially made it to the Alliance garrison base out here in the Spires of Iraq. So we're going to keep walking forward. And what's really cool is there is a inn over here that you can, or a town hall that you can walk in, usually as part of your garrison. So you can fully walk in here. And uh, there's also another place over here as well. You have a mill type area. You also have like a really cool dwarven bunker over here. Oh, that actually glitches out. I didn't know that. So we're going to come back this way. And we're going to go into the inn over here, which is Heroes Rest Inn. So... And it is fully rendered out here. And you can sit in the chairs as well. And you can go into all the bedrooms. And another really cool part. Usually you can't do this in other OBs. You can actually go in the basement here. Here's the kitchen. And here goes the basement. So let's go back up. And let's go make our way back out. And there are a couple of rendered other stuff here. Like you do have the scribe place here, which is scribe's quarters. And you do have some homes and houses as well. And then across the way is a little horde encampment where they have a flight path and all that. And if you make your way out this way, you can actually get to so-called Zangramarsh. 
type looking place out here in the water. But be careful, as you will die if you go too far out. But there, like I said, guys, there's a lot of cool stuff to look out here in this video. Um, I've been having a blast making these. It's been a lot of fun. This has been a really good one. I'm so excited. Um, we made it all the way to almost 25 minutes here. <laughs> and I think I'm going to end the video because there's not too much left to see. But I do highly encourage you guys to come out here and check this place out for yourself. Getting out here is not easy, but if you can perform the glitch, it's definitely worth it. So anyways, guys, as always, my name is Nathan. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.